But now, nah, they definitely did choke, man. How do, anyway, real quick. How do you think we got to this influencer position, man? Who who started? Because I have an idea of who I think started this this whole um, influencer move. On Insta or what do you think? I'll say maybe Insta in general, in general. But it has Ninja. to be, it's probably Instagram, I'd say. I don't know about influencer, but I remember the fitness stuff. Because that, that was like the first really big thing getting advertised on Instagram. Damn, you done destroyed my whole argument now. What were you thinking? Uh, Kardashians. Yeah, I, I think, was thinking. I think they, <laughs> like Kylie and all that. they mm. started the whole, like, everyone wants a peek into every aspect of my life thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I don't know if they got under influence. Yeah, th- I think the first influencer was, what's it, Jen Selter? Remember this that she loves using crazy names. <laughs> yeah, hey, who oh, that? I'm just educating yeah, man. She? She? Ah, bro. she she was like the OG fitness model. Mm. Like she had like the know. plans and the diets and all this stuff. I'm pretty sure she's got like 13, 14 million followers. You're the only one with the phone. All right. Who? who? Jen. Jen J E N and Selter S E L T E R. Let's have a look at this right now. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, I think she was. I remember her like early on. Everyone was like on her page and stuff. I don't know if she still has a lot of followers. And stuff. I mean, I can see that, like uh, fitness model. Because it was a real big thing for fitness, which is weird because YouTube was like that at the start. I don't know if you remember, like Fit- years. Yeah, bro, fitness has always been like a, such a big thing, though. I think it's because people really don't want to be fat. <laughs> um, <laughs> what? Or maybe they just like the body. I don't know. What the? Yeah, no, nah, oi, now yeah, no. Nah. Like trying new ways to work out. That's what it is. If you yeah. Can, yeah. And then it's funny because you end up coming back down to the exact same thing of like just stop eating all this junk and like yeah. go No, because even bro. YouTube early on, do you remember there was that Asian guy like the six mad pack shortcut? Ripped? Yeah. Six pack shortcut. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yo, Mike, Mike Wang. Mike Wang, uh, yeah. yeah. But then that doesn't do it anymore. Yeah, no. Nah. He, 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 nah, he got his money and he ran. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> this guy. Get out while you're on top. Dude, who yeah. would do exercise in like front of his living room and all that. Yeah. 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 It's pretty and dope. It's weird. It's like, yeah. And so it was heaps of the. You know, get a six pack. It's yeah. not about your diet. Like they try to sell you something uh, new every. What do you guys feel about all that stuff? And then man. I don't know. I feel like honestly, like if you want to lose weight, just shut your mouth. Carlos is the um, number one guy to talk about this on. Uh, he was he was part of. I call it a pyramid scheme. Pyramid scheme. I, I, call, it, yeah. I uh, call it a pyramid scheme. Did you ever try to connect with people after high school that you hadn't talked to in like about a year, and you're like, hey, let's hang out? Now they they no. roped him in. Those those guys yeah, roped him in. That's a pyramid scheme. <laughs> this. One guy hit me up after high school, and like he was like, "Yo, we should hang out." And I was like, "Oh, this might be a pyramid scheme." Uh, but I was like, mm, "Okay." <laughs> benefit of the doubt. And then, and then, like two, three days later, I hang out with another girl that was like his close friend, mm. and she's like, <laughs> "She's like, oh yeah, don't hang out with that guy. It's a pyramid scheme." <laughs> <laughs> bro, I got the funniest oh stories of an old bro, years, bro. Bro. Nah, you've been roped. Nah, in. nah, for me, it wasn't that bad. But yeah, I got the funny stories, man. But I don't know if it's safe for me to say yeah, it. Yeah, nah, save it might be for another yeah, episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah. yeah, and then and then now because it went from the whole fitness thing and healthy eating and all that on all the platforms when they started to now it's the what's it called like motivational speak. Yeah, because oh, a couple a of years of ago all the ads on YouTube were that um, and no one wanted to who listen to. Who was the guy it? that was like, ah, oh, I'm in my garage with my uh, Ferrari. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know him. Uh, his name is uh, Ty, Ty, Ty Lopez. Yeah, yeah. Ty Lopez. Ty Lopez. Oh. <laughs> it's like a year ago I had a dollar. And oh, now I have man. There's yeah, so yeah. many million. of them. There's and then so now it's all ads. over Instagram, yeah. right? You got mm-hmm. everywhere. Gary V and yeah. But Gary V is actually all right. Though. I like Gary. Mm. Gary, I can respect him because you know it's like you actually put in the work. I can see that. You yeah. know what I mean? Because it's like this. So much actual evidence of what he's oh, done. Gary, a lot yeah. of these guys, it's like I honestly came out of nowhere. Yeah. It's like I, are you just a them. really good talker, and then they just have a random book out of nowhere. Like, bro. Yeah. like Gary is like he's an author. Is this? Now, it's, even before that, his parents had like a wine business, like a like a bottle shop. Yeah, and I think at sixteen or something, like they were um, what's it called immigrants. And then mm-hmm. at sixteen, he was like, "Yo, like you guys need to go online because the internet's coming and yeah. all that kind of stuff." And I think within like. A couple of years, he took it to a seventy million dollar business, something wow. crazy like that. Yeah, like something ridiculous, mm. like forty million or something like that. And like now, it's like you just see like all this other stuff that he does, and it's mm. like, yeah, like okay, you've actually got heaps to show mm. for it. Mm. Yeah, that's yeah. actually funny. Like you think about it, a couple of years back, we were planning these guys. Yeah, <laughs> like you'd be skipping these ads, but it's like oh, now this is what we People choose to go to listen yeah. to and stuff like. Nah, that, I still dude. skip the ads. <laughs> no, nah, not the ads, but like we will go and look for. Yeah, you'll still we'll listen we'll to it. Yeah. But I mean, this is the thing, right? Mm. And also now you got a question: Why do people still click on those stuff and whatever, right? Because it's like, 
<laughs> you got like, hold up not unrelated but uh-huh. i went to one of the events for these guys you know they <laughs> did, like so yeah, it was for free down. someone was like you want to come like, right, sure. <laughs> um it was like a social media based thing and basically he's talking about oh it was kind of social media kind of just how to grow your business and he's like <laughs> it's at like the crown um mm. so it's like you know decent ballroom whatever and he's like talking all this kind of stuff and whatnot and he's like you know you do this you do this and it's like an hour or hour and a half seminar and then he's like giving you some of the hints not all of them mm. then at the end of it he's like you know you can join this uh a th- i think it's a three-day intensive or something you go down like basically it's like a conference seminar mm. thing that he runs and it's like select spaces or something like that ten thousand dollars for three days right? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> right no but apparently it's a normal price and people go there and they have like heaps of they have literally testimonies from people that have done this before and how their business biz- like it guarantee you to it's not be guaranteed success yeah, there's no guarantee you're guaranteed this. mentoring from him wow. and your business gets like 10 hours outside of that all this kind of stuff whatever now the craziest part was at the end of it he's like if you're gonna invest in your future like i want I, like are you with it and like you see people like, like yeah <laughs> <laughs> and then at the very like the very end he's like now if you are ready to like you know be down for your future and all this kind of stuff and see your business like 10 times growth and all this kind of stuff like just stand up, I don't, I don't know. bro. It was the weird. I was like, "Is this what a non-Christian altar call is? <laughs> yeah. Are you responding? Bro, like, what? Bro, bro. Are you getting saved? Hey, what's no, happening? No. Oh my god! Be honest. It feels like they're being programmed. No, uh, like bro. they were like, <laughs> they walked in right, and they were like, see B fourteen when he says it. Yeah, not nah. <laughs> you. you Three oh, aisles man. in, seven seats to the left. That's messed up. There's gonna be a buzzword stand up. But it was so weird. I was like, because I've never seen yeah, like people yeah. respond to something yeah. outside of a sports or a Christian setting. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. And sports is just cheering, like ah, we scored. Yeah. Oh, we didn't score, right? And then the Christian setting is the one that makes sense because you're gonna receive eternal life. Oh, yeah. preach like, that. Yeah, I'm yeah. trying to get that. Yeah, quick plug. Yeah. Quick plug. All right. Yeah. But then it's like. Like, how can you be, I, I get being excited and passionate about your business and stuff, but it's like, it's just weird when it's like. If you got 10,000 to spend like that, do you really need this well, motivation need a, thing anymore? Well, it's not Bro, even that. Uh, oh, 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 that's maybe. a good point. Yeah, that's but a, also you're, it's you've like, got enough expendable but it's cash like, by the looks even, of it. Even if like someone's like, you know, I can teach you how to, you know, grow your business and all this stuff. Mm. It's, the answer is just, okay, cool. Thanks. I'll, Cheers. I'll take you on <laughs> Uh, it's not like, yeah, yeah. I'll do it. I'll do me. Let's do it. They're so, excited. Do it. Did, so these people, these people potentially signed up Bro, afterwards. No. I think a lot of them didn't because they were like, oh, that's really 10,000, huh? Damn. Bro. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Yeah, that's a lot no, of money. And then it's like, I, I think it was like, normally it's 12,000, oh, but today wow. 10,000. And then at the end of it, it was like 5,900. Oh, wow. And I was like, so you're just making up these. So, <laughs> wait, this is like, <laughs> this is like the dowry. <laughs> <laughs> oh Whatever goes, goes. Just put money in my pocket. <laughs> God, starts off with 80,000, 30. Oh, yeah, cool, 30, yeah, 30. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, I, w- I, went, went, I went to one of those events, mm. right? One of my friends, bro. Yeah, hit me up. He's like, hey, I come through to this. And then I go, he's in the city. I go in. It's weird, bro. I, I'm not even lying. It feels like these people are programmed, bro. Mm, yeah. And then after that, everyone's just sitting down. It's normal. Everyone having a chat. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then na- next thing you know, you got the MC running to the middle. Goes to the front. Everyone just goes quiet. Everyone goes up. Boom. I'm standing like, damn, what's happening here, bro? They're clapping. The music goes on. All, bro, it was the weirdest thing I've uh, ever I, seen. I want to like, bro, bro, everyone, so weird. Bro, everyone got... <laughs> Everyone, everyone's energy came out of nowhere, man. <laughs> that, no, it, no, for real, it does not make sense, bro. It's it's honestly sec- the biggest fan club experience. Two I've seconds ago, I was talking to you normally. The next thing they're going, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I was like, bro. I was sat there for a good one hour, look left to look right. I was just so, I was just so surprised. Like I'm looking at people's faces. That, we're, we're, we're actually weird, about bro. The they <laughs> had, they had the biggest smiles on their face. They actually no. look like they're really happy to be there. Like, like I, I'd mm. honestly love to sit down and talk to uh, Gary V or one of yeah. those guys, but like one on one, you know, like or like a little mentoring girl. I don't like. I'm not gonna get much from, from sitting group. in a hall. But in that's New York. how they look at us going Content. to church, isn't it? Maybe I don't know. <laughs> That's how they probably look, know. or even conference. Yeah, there's even yeah. people that like read um, self help books that mm. are outside of faith ones, right? I'm like, how much can you really get out of it? Like, I can get out the of business what? ones, like out of principles self-help? to apply. Yeah, because there's always the ones that are like 
Think positive. It's a lot of common sense stuff. Yeah. Hey, to be this honest, like you know, I ain't going front. I do really like. Sam, I don't know. I Sam haven't Sam read any. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll I'll teach you. The only thing I like to read is autobiographies. Mm. Autobiographies are not bad. And so, the Bible. So you talk about self development books, right? Some of yeah. them, you're right. Some of them is pretty straightforward. Like I don't I don't like reading those type of books, but there's ones where it's like. It's Talking about habits and all that stuff. Mm. Yeah. You know what mm. I mean? Yeah. Like, those mm. stuff okay. really do make it. Like, I've read about four or five self development books, and all of them are so completely different. And you can actually apply the. It's not talking about, okay, it says think positive, right? But then it's like, how do I think positive? Now, that's the real question, mm. right? Because you're saying, okay, think positive. It's like, do you know how to think positive? There's actually steps to it. Remember last time how we spoke about opinions and that, and how to actually. So, if someone tells you something. Hey, hold on, hold on. That was one of the ones that we didn't record. Record. Yeah. That was a fire conversation, man. And it wasn't even recorded fully for this, man. Hey, sure? hey, hey, how, hey! Before you continue, how are we gonna go about releasing, you know, exclusive content, bro? I like, will discuss this later, bro. Because that was a fire conversation that we oh, had, man. and yeah. the people ain't ever gonna be able to see that because it wasn't a real episode, right? Damn. Sure the ah. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just so you know, just just so you guys know that we really got it like that, bro. Mm. But yeah, carry on, bro. Yeah, so I'm saying like self develop self development books do really help out, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And being able to combine that with the Bible and all that, that's a whole nother level as well. Because the Bible teaches you lifestyle, how to do this, you know what I mean, how you should be, how you should act. Yeah. You know what I mean? Self development books is not teaching you how to act. It's talking about behaviors that you can implement in your life to reach success. Some some you, you know yeah, sometimes of course there's stuff that's gonna work and whatnot. But like sometimes I find they actually contradict what I believe. Mm. Like for example, the Forty Eight Laws of Power. I don't know if you've heard of it. Yeah. So basically, uh, it's like it's not bad, yeah. how to <laughs> succeed at business, yeah. right? But all the laws I haven't like read it or anything, but whatever I've heard from it, honestly, just contradicts how I would have to behave as a Christian. Yeah, yeah. Right. So it's like, um, basically, it's like uh, when you when you like defeat your enemy, defeat them and be ruthless properly. and kill them. Uh. Right, like it's like it's like you know, just don't give them a foot into but the business thing, anymore. With, with that book, it's not teaching you to be humble. It's teaching you more to be like ruthless in a way. Yeah, but also which is why I'm like yeah. I'm not gonna apply anything. For There's this. one of those laws where it's talking about like make people feel like they're better than you or whatever, and then after that you can kind of sneak attack yeah, yeah, and yeah, all yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah. 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 It's, it's actually <laughs> wow. How do I feel about that? To be honest, <laughs> but to be honest, it's like. No, the, the okay. reason why it's called the Forty Eight Laws of in, in, Power, though, because there's low key power. Though. In terms of the world, yeah, that's honestly you will succeed. You mm. will your business will grow. Yeah, all this kind of stuff, ways, but yeah. I don't want it to happen that way for me. Yeah, you know, humans are funny though. No, humans we get roped into funny. the weirdest stuff. We actually are <laughs> stupid. <laughs> no, we're actually <laughs> dumb. Have, you, have your parents ever done timeshare? Oh, bro, that's way. That's <laughs> actually nice. Not funny. <laughs> it's sad. It's not, bro. That's how we have all these holidays, bro. That we go on, you know. Explain so it time works for you guys? It works for us amazing. I don't know My how. My parents just... But nah, they... <laughs> what they did. <laughs> bro, it worked somehow. But a lot of people get done. Explain like, it, explain it. I don't even fully get it still, but it's yeah. like you, you you almost invest for the future in terms so of... you own part yeah. of a property. Usually it's... We do re- we did resorts. So we yeah, did yeah, it yeah, with yeah. Wyndham yeah, it and... Oh, Wyndham and Worldmark when they can, can combine. Right, do you want to put all your business out there? <laughs> no, but that's not that deep. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, and mom and papa, address, bro. sweet number. No, that's a big... No, they're, yeah. actually, they're worldwide, yeah. bro. Yeah, but um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you normally own part of a property or... Yeah, no, property, resort, yeah. apartment, whatever it may be. And... There's a period in the year where you are able to access it, but you own it in part with other people, mm-hmm. right? So it ends up being like you chip in ten thousand for this suite, right? And then so, like fifty other people have chipped in ten thousand. There's a week where all of you guys get it. Oh, much. ours is weird. Ours is different. Okay, well, no, I think I think ours was weird because that's how I understand time. <laughs> well, like, now, is let me give going. you the context oh. for which my parents did this thing. Right? Is it for buffet breakfast? What are you talking yeah. about? Okay, okay, now, because I'll tell you how, how this is. Okay. Okay, okay, here you go. You so, say yours. 2006, I want to say, we're in Jordan. My uncle's about to get married. Mm. I don't know what's happening. I think it was like late night or something, and the family's out walking in the streets, and someone invites us to a timeshare meeting. So we go up, we go up into some random building, 
up the stairs, whatever, into this room. Now, like, obviously, there's no regulations on smoking and that kind of stuff. You walk into the room and it's just smog. Like, you can't see the, the thick white smoke everywhere. All these guys smoking. Mm-hmm. We left the place stinking. <laughs> stinking. And the guy's like, oh, there's this timeshare in Lebanon and it's a resort and all this stuff. And there's one week in, I think, July or something that you'll be able to access it and go on holiday with your That's family. Whack. And stuff. I, I don't know what, wait, my parents are not gullible or <laughs> 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 like they're normally quite, you know, like, they're, like not, they're not tight, Skeptic- but they're like, we will spend soul, right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. like yeah. that's the type of people they are. And they were just like, all right, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, you guys under a spell or something? You know what's, what's so happening? funny? No, bro, it was the smoke. It was the smoke. There was Definitely. something in the smoke. Because you know what's funny? Because you're walking money in your business. You were not planning on spending money that night. 100%. <laughs> Next thing 100%. you know, funny. it takes $15,000. <laughs> I think it was so something like that. So I can have two like weeks like in July. Something crazy. <laughs> that's pretty smart though. Huh? So that's no, whack. No, 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 like no, no. the idea of this time It's a pyramid scheme. Thing. Yeah, no, that one is whack. It's I don't know what the heck. Ours is different. And now, like even like, Last week or something, oh. my dad was saying like, "Yeah, I don't know, what what were we doing?" Because <laughs> like, because they never made money off it. Oh, they never. We never went to Lebanon. Mm-hmm. Like, there's not like no. th- he doesn't even know if he owns part of it still, yeah. kind of thing. I don't know what my parents did, but literally, bro, you see these holidays we be taking now. We be going places now, and this <laughs> we be going places now. <laughs> Man, I've seen the world in that already. You know what I mean? At 21 and that now, but like, I don't know what they did, but it was lit. It's it's not even about this one week in July. <laughs> We can go whenever we want and stuff. Hey, you just gotta be smart. I think it's got you gotta be smart with it, bro. But um, yeah, hey, we've been able to trip around the world with, with, with that. You know what I mean, but I'll see you, man. Yeah, man.